Hi there, welcome back to Kelly Martin Speaks. Now I wanted to do a little bit of sort of psychic 101, but in a different way. Now over the years, I would say probably about 16 years, I have done a number of different courses and training from psychic development to shamanic training. Uh, I have done angel healing, Reiki healing, I've done a lot of different courses over the years and I've dabbled with lots of different things. Now in the beginning, during my, I did a 12 week, 12 week psychic development course where we learned psychometry, um, we learned how to look at auras, we learned how to give readings and a number of different things. We did meditations, we were taught uh, psychic protection and grounding and I did a lot of that in the beginning. I did grounding, put my roots into the ground. Uh, protection involved, putting a bubble around myself and doing all this sort of thing. Now, I stopped doing that some time ago and and then I started doing it again recently as part of a development circle because I was having so many funny things happen to me energetically that I thought, oh, there's something wrong here, I really need to protect myself. I was really quite scared of the energy that was taking place inside of me. And I took on the advice of a friend and other friends and things that I've read over the years. And I took it on board and I did my grounding and my protection again. And it just wasn't working. No matter what I did, it wasn't working. And so one day I had a good conversation with my friend Mike and I realised it's not for everyone. Surrounding yourself in bubbles, white light, grounding calling in the angels, it may work for some, especially if they believe in it, if they believe in that type of thing. I realised that why it wasn't working for me was it because it felt like a band-aid. You know, I'm a, I'm a bit scared, so I put on a, a band-aid. You know, oh, put a shield up, put a crown on my head, put a, put a bubble round, put a light out, you know, mirrors around. I, you know, I could do the lot, but I always wanted something more sustainable, more empowering more real, more strong, and, and I always wondered why am I so scared of psychic energies, you know, spirit, guides, um, those that aren't very nice, you know, there is yin and yang in this world, there is good and bad on the earth, as this, there is the same in psychic energy, and I had to ask myself, what do I want? I want to feel safe, I want to feel empowered. Why am I scared of these energies? What are they about? Now, if everything is one, we cannot pick up or feel or sense a lower energy unless we have that within ourselves already. So instead of putting up walls and barriers and mirrors, if you find that does not work for you, try something different. Try what I've been doing recently. And that involves being present, being mindful, asking yourself what you need right now and allowing whatever's taking place to take place. I had this, I had blowing in my ear, I felt like my crown chakra opened wide all of the time. I was feeling spaced out and nauseous. I was feeling so many symptoms and it, it wasn't until the other night that I realized I was feeling them because I was resisting an energetic shift, a spiritual shift that was taking place within me. I was misinterpreting it as psychic attack, as spirit around me trying to grab a hold of me. It was all fear based. I was fearing fear itself. So by allowing myself feeling that feeling, allowing the fear, welcoming what was there, being smart still. You know, you don't have to go into a house that feels ugh and decide, oh, I'm just going to walk in there. You feel it in your gut, oh, that doesn't feel very nice, you don't go in there. It's like in everyday life, if you meet someone who's got a knife, you don't walk towards them. Be smart, you can do that psychically, as long as you're in touch with your intuition and your gut instinct, you can do that. But I don't believe now that some of the psychic protection methods that are shared everywhere um, is for everyone. So. I find for me personally, love is my greatest protection, that if I am able to bring love into the feeling, bring love into the fear, if I'm feeling a bit spaced out, just sit there and 
you know, welcome. It's okay. Something's happening for me right now. If it wasn't happening, it wouldn't be happening. If it wasn't meant to happen, it wouldn't be happening. It's like, what we need, we receive in life. So that was happening. And the moment that I accepted that I was having this experience, the resistance was released. The fear disappeared. And I no longer felt scared of any kind of energy that was around me or shifting within me. Anyway, I just wanted to share that, an alternative psychic protection method. That isn't really a method. It's more an acknowledgement that we are one with the universe, one with everything, and that we cannot feel or sense anything that isn't part of who we are anyway. We are good, we are bad, we are negative, we are ugly, we are beautiful, we are joyful, we are hateful, we have everything within us. And when we acknowledge and love and bring presence into that space within us, those energies have no need to be around us. We don't even feel connected to them. We have no need to walk into that energy. The more we embrace ourselves, the less we need it in our lives. So, thanks for watching. Bye.